1-9 the Giant. Well, the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles hosted the Halifax Mooseheads tonight in their fourth and final visit of the season to Centre 200. It was the seventh meeting on the season between the Eagles and the Moose, the Eagles winning five of the first six matchups, but Halifax taking the most recent encounter, 3-2 from the Halifax Metro Centre. In front of a crowd of nearly 4,500 fans here from Centre 200, what with it being Cape Breton University night here with the Screaming Eagles, the Eagles actually got off to a very sluggish start, falling behind 3-0 to the Moose early in the second period. You can hear a pin drop here at the center, but late in the second period, Cape Breton rallied for three quick goals to tie the game, the first being a shorthanded breakaway goal by Victor Hertzberg after being sprung in on a beautiful pass by number 12, Nick McNeil. The teams then traded goals early in the third to make it a 4-4 game, and with the score tied at four, Garrett Clark of the Halifax Mooseheads hit Jacob Legacy with a knee-on-knee -knee hit, getting, five minutes, getting a five-minute major, that is, and a game misconduct, putting the Eagles on the five-minute power play late in the game. And Cape Breton would make Clark pay. Nick McNeil putting home his 30th of the season, a beautiful tip-in from in front of the net, giving the Eagles the 5-4 lead. Jacob Legacy adds the empty netter, add it all up, 6-4 Cape Breton the final, an exciting come from behind, come from behind win in front of the nearly sold out crowd. Now let's watch it all in the highlights being shot by the Eagles video man Greg Borden. They battle for the puck. Here's Grant for Betty. Across. They score. Very great. On a nice finish. They right so close to getting it out. But the power play strikes again. And as they said coming into the game, the power penalty kill was improving. But then they gave up one minute around there. Here's Brandy McDonald. In front. That's reflected out of the reach. Logan Shaw trying to find the puck. Woodworth takes the hit. But here's Charles Betty circling in front. Give me trick fires, rebound, they score! Bradley McDonald as Wall looks behind him, and it's 3 0 for Halifax. There's a shot by Kenotech, it goes wide and it's going to get outside the blue line. Then Gary Clark will reel it in at center ice. Clark yeah, gave it away. Here's Nick McNeil, turns it ahead, Hertzberg in on a breakaway, shot! Legacy can't get to it. Here is Luke Adam now, working on the puck. Nice little shoulder shake, steps up, fires the rocket wipe, rebound, they score! Aston Bernard, and it's now 3-2. They get their back in it. Oh yeah, baby. This could check in Mayer in the back end. Here's Mayer. Down low. Adam deflecting. Rebound. They score. Luke Adam. Number 41. It's a power play goal. And we've got ourselves a tie hockey game. Oh, are you kidding me? Three goals for Kate Bretton. In a hurry. They kick the puck 
puck up and out, can't do it, here's Nick McNeil. Now the puck carrier as he moves down the right side. Dropping for Horl, Horl to Brodeur, scores! Trying to out muscle. Oh, there's a good hit by Legacy. Well, there's a giveaway and a goal by the Moose Sets that tied the hockey game. Morgan Ellis with a terrible giveaway, and Jared Grant finds the back of the net as he beats wide to the far side. And uh, for Morgan Ellis, a tough mistake to make. And the Blue Sets have tied this at four. To Francis Mayer. Adam McNeil. Shot scores! He deflects it by Carpey! It's a power play goal! Five, four, eight, Fred! What they hit for Nation there! idea of winning the face-off, pulling it back, and then setting it up. Nice play, Brodeur. Used all of that six-foot-six frame. Ahead to Legacy. Open net. Scores! That'll do it. Take that. Up by two. Take up Legacy into the back of the net for his 33rd of the season. And Pete Brenton has come all the way back.